Hello everyone, welcome to Tap Dots. Today I am going to show you what is bridge design pattern or we can also say handle or body design pattern. So let's move ahead to check out the agenda and the points that I am going to cover. The first is what is bridge design pattern and what are the use case of bridge design pattern. I will also cover the code coverage using Visual Studio C Sharp and I will also discuss few of the advantages of this bridge design pattern. Basic understanding of object oriented concept will be very helpful for you and I strongly suggest you to watch the videos like types of design pattern and solid design principles. So let's move ahead further to check what actually bridge design pattern is. So first let's go by definition. We decouple an abstraction from its implementation so that it can vary independently. Okay. So the highlighted line decouples an abstraction from its implementation. It means we are hiding the important piece of implementation. Okay. And how we are going to do this, I will show you in Visual Studio. And let's first discuss few of the very important concepts about the bridge design pattern. You decouple an implementation class from an abstract class by providing a bridge between them. Okay. This bridge interface makes the functionality of concrete class independent from the interface implementer class. Okay, maybe these points are not clear as of now, but don't worry, I will explain these points again and again in the upcoming discussion. And let's take one example, you are maker of remote control for different electronics items because we are discussing the real time scenario. Let's assume you are currently getting orders to make remote controls for televisions and DVD players and your remote control has two major functionalities on and off. If you want to include new remote states such as sleep or mute and so on or if you want to include new electronics items like air conditioners and so on, you will face new challenges because the elements are tightly coupled in normal design. Generally if we develop in normal class scenarios but in real world scenario this kind of enhancement is often required. So you need to start with a loosely coupled system for future enhancement so that either of two hierarchies. Now you must be thinking what are two hierarchies. So I am talking about the example that I am just going to share with you within a few seconds. So either of two hierarchies electronics item and their states can grow independently. The bridge pattern is perfect for such scenario. Okay. So let's have a look of the class diagram of the example that I am going to discuss. As you can see on the left hand side this is our I state interface. In this we have one method move state okay and this i state interface is implemented by off state and on state the methods move state we are implementing in both in on and off state classes okay on the right hand side you can see electronic goods is our abstract class that contains a state property through which we will initialize the state okay and we have one more method move to current stage okay so and this abstract class is implemented by television and DVDs and in further scenario you can implement the same for air conditioner as well. I am explaining one of the way to achieve bridge design pattern. Few programmer have different approaches and different way of implementation. Some programmer prefer using constructor and some programmer prefers using properties. So let's move ahead to see all these things in action in Visual Studio. This is my Visual Studio. As you can see, I'm using the solution design pattern in C Sharp. And this is the same that I was using in my all previous design pattern series. Okay. And today's session is completely focused on bridge design pattern. And this solution is ASP.NET Core empty web application. And I'm using the response to print the output on the screen. Okay. So let's first check what are the important classes that we have created already just to save time in bridge patterns. So you can see there are six classes. Let's discuss one by one. What are the role of these? So very first one is I state and it contains one method move state. Okay. And I state is implemented by on state. Okay. Where we are simply saying in move state, it is on state. Okay. And this HTTP context I am just using to write to the response. Similarly, we have off state and the message we are displaying off state. Okay. From this class. Now we have a abstract class that we discussed. 
this is a composition implementer and alternatively approach to the properties you can also implement as uh, constructor inside you can see we are setting the state here okay so you can use constructor as well because this is one of the way to achieve bridge design pattern okay so now we have implemented the property we are setting the value of a state in this electronic fluids and then further there is one abstract method which is move current state okay so this is my abstract class with abstract method and one property let's go to the television in television you can see we are implementing electronic good abstract class okay and what we are doing simply we are overriding the move to current state and we are calling the state class move state method okay this is completely separate in the same way we are also implementing in dvd class we are implementing electronic goods and as you can see for this as well we are simply calling state dot move state and with the help of http context we are specifying where we are so we are saying dvd is functioning at and the output of move state response will be there okay similarly television is functioning at and the response of this is state dot move state and state is nothing but this class method which we specified earlier okay and let's see how we are using this solution only the required namespace we include as a reference and comment all other segments which are not required so what we are doing here we are simply write to the response it is a design pattern demo and we are dealing with television and now we are creating i state variable and assigning on state instance in it because i state is implemented by on state similarly we are creating electronic goods variable and we are assigning television now the next line is very important what we are doing we are we are calling this e item which is of type electronic goods and we are initializing the state with present state okay it means now it is in on state and now we are calling move to current state which is a method of electronic goods okay and if you will check go here check here move to current state and it is implemented by this one and it will call the move state method of on state or off state okay so that's how we are calling let's see further implementation for dealing with dvds similarly now we are again using the existing variable of present state and now we are assigning off state instance here and creating new dvd in e item and then again calling move to current state so let's have a look all these things in action let me run the solution here we go now you can see the output is here which is expected dealing with television and the television is functioning at on state because initially we call on and now television is functioning at off state because later we call the off state as well and now when we are dealing with dvd dvd is functioning at on state and dvd is functioning at off state the output is expected now let's go back to the solution so don't worry about the piece of code github repo link is given in the description of this video let's go back to the definition to discuss few more important points related to bridge design pattern now let's discuss few questions which are very important that you might be thinking what are the key advantages of using a bridge design pattern so implementation are not bound to the abstractions that we have already seen both the abstractions and implementation can grow independently concrete classes are independent from interface implementer classes in other words changes in one of them do not affect the others that's a very important point so you can also vary the interface and the concrete implementation in different ways now the next question can be what are the challenges associated with this pattern so the overall structure may become complex Sometimes the bridge pattern is confused with adapter pattern. I have already discussed adapter pattern in my previous session and you can check out the link in the description of this video. But for that, remember the key purpose of adapter pattern is to deal with incompatible interfaces only. Okay. So I hope you like this video. If you have any question, any comment, you can drop into the comment box. I will try to respond as soon as possible. And as usual, your feedback is very important. And don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for the next video with some new learning. Till then, bye-bye.